Hello everybody, this is Abraham with North Shore Computer Services and what we have today is a computer that um, was hacked into. Basically a person received a phone call, <clears throat> most likely message came up on the screen saying call this number, we're going to, you know, some scary, scary words were said person called the number they remote it into the computer and right now what we got here is an issue <clears throat> it's asking for a pin we don't know the pin we could go to sign in options again just uh, in the sign-in options, we could ask for password. We don't know the password. We don't know the PIN. This problem happens if you have no password on Windows computer. If you have no password at all on Windows computer, uh, a password can be added for you. And when you add a password, it doesn't require a previous password because there was none before. What do we do in this case? Uh, interestingly enough, uh, the problem can be resolved in a very uh, old-fashioned way. Uh, this resolution came from uh, Windows XP, I believe. And this is what we do. We go to Power. We hold down Shift key. We click on Restart restart anyway <laughs> by holding down the shift key it should go into a re, uh, uh, not a recovery but repair mode that's the old F8 key that you hold down let's hope this computer will do that yeah so the please wait is a good good sign that it's going into recovery. <clears throat> if you have nothing on the computer, you could just recover it to a new computer. In this case, we have something on the computer. So we go to troubleshoot. We go to advanced options. We go to command prompt. <coughs> now, depending on how the computer got hacked command prompt might not come up it might ask you for a password so let's see this one does not ask for a password and that's a really good thing um, the directory where we're um, put in is x windows system 32 uh, this is a uh, recovery program this is not the windows that we need so we go to c colon and then dir for directory and we see that c is actually this is the windows we're looking for all right so we go cd windows and i will put those commands down in the uh, uh, description the commands would be the same for Windows XP, uh, Windows Vista, 8, 8 1, 7, uh, 10, and 11. So then we go to CD system 32. Okay, so now that we're in system 32, we're going to look for something called Utilman. And I will show you where that comes uh, in handy. So dir util man star. So we have utilman.exe. All right. What we're going to do is we're going to rename utilman. So just type in rename utilman.exe to util man 
to that exe. All right, so if we do a dir, it could be one, could be two. I've been uh, working, so this is uh, uh, <coughs> that's why I name it number two. Forgive me, I have a little call. Um, dir utilman star. Okay, so we have utilman one, utilman two, and now what we want to do is copy, okay, C-O-P-Y, C-M-D, and this is the command prompt dot E-X-E into a utilman, M-A-N, dot E-X-E. Now copy will create another copy of the command prompt interface, basically this thing, but it's going to be called utilman, and you're going to know why. So we hit enter. Now that's been copied. Basically, our job is done here. Type an exit and continue to Windows 11. This is a Windows 11 computer. And it's going to restart. We're still going to have our password issue here, but we're going to have a back door that has been opened for us through this utilman. And uh, utilman is basically a uh, system that allows you to have, um, like, it, it's reading the prompt. Um, it's called accessibility. It should be called accessibility, not utilman, but it is what it is. So now we have this accessibility icon on the login screen. If we click on it, it's going to give us a command prompt. Instead of running the utilman uh, options, which are going to be just, you know, things we don't need. What can we do in a command prompt? All right. So if we type in uh, net user. This command will give us all the users available on this computer. We have the administrator, we have the username, we have default account, some utility account and guest. None of those are important. We're only interested in the username. And uh, we type in um, net and then username from this list, uh, which is this one. And then just type in a new password, one, two, three, four. Uh, sorry, it's net user. N-E-T user, username, one, two, three, four. Okay, um, so this will set a username with that password. Command completed successfully. Now, we don't even need to restart the computer now. We go to sign in options, you go to password, one, two, three, four, enter, poof, the computer works. If you like the video, give me a like, subscribe, save money, enjoy, use this. If you've been hacked, your family has been hacked, anyone has been hacked, this is. Uh, uh, the catch here is it doesn't work on all computers. Some computers require more work for this to be um, achieved. This computer, I got lucky that uh, what happens if you go into <clears throat> uh, bringing up the command prompt, it will ask you for a password before it allows you to go in. If that happens, the only way to get it booted is by using uh, an external Windows uh, setup disk that will get you an account access. <laughs> With this computer, I've tried been there and uh, thankfully it didn't ask for a password. I'll probably do a video on uh, uh, the more complicated system, but 
because of Windows 11, there are other issues that could come up. So this solution will apply to some computers that allow you to have uh, the command prompt without having to put in the password. Um, and uh, basically you'll unlock the computer. You can remove the password again. Uh, you can remove, let's see, so they also had a pin installed in here. So if we go to user accounts and uh, sign in options, so they have the pin enabled, but because we have the password now, we could just remove the pin. So we do remove, it's going to ask for a password. We set it to be one, two, three, four, poof, gone. Um, this kind of speaks volumes of the Windows security, which I appreciate that it has this nice hole in it. Uh, there are other ways to do this. Uh, you can actually do a remote registry editor. However, uh, that does not work all the time. I've tried it um, for the most part. You can look in a registry, you can load a remote a registry from a different hard drive into a registry editor. Um, but updating that registry, once you put the hard drive back into the computer, it will revert because it will know that there is a change has been put in. So, um, again, hopefully this helps somebody. I... Uh, um, like making uh, short videos like this this is a really good solution uh, straight to the point uh, it works like I said works on most most computers and uh, if you have any questions absolutely comments is for that I do look through the comments and uh, um, I do respond thank you for watching enjoy and save money.